Hi guys, it's Maureen here. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine and you're ready to calculate some wallpaper because that's what we'll be doing in this video lesson. We will look at how to calculate how much wallpaper you will need for a room if you want to wallpaper your room. Now, generally wallpaper come in 15 feet lengths so there would be 15 feet of wallpaper in this roll and the widths sometimes vary 20.5 24 inches 27 inches depending on where they are made for the purpose of this lesson we will use a wallpaper that has a width of 20.5 inches on my whiteboard here, these boxes represent a room that's five by seven by eight. So five feet on two walls, seven feet on two walls, and eight feet high. To calculate how much wallpaper we will need, we will look at how many widths of this 20.5 inches wallpaper we need for each wall however because the walls are in feet we will have to take our 20.5 inches and convert that to feet so we'll divide 20.5 by 12 inches and we do that because there are 12 inches in a foot and we get 1.71 feet so now we know that this wallpaper the width in feet is 1.71 so the next thing we do is look at how many widths of wallpaper we need for a wall that's five feet wide therefore we take the five and we divide the five by 1.71 feet because the width of the wallpaper is 1.71 so we want to see how many widths we need to go across the wall when we divide 5 by 1.71 we get 2.93 so we need 2.93 widths of wallpaper to go across a five foot wall we will round up the 2.93 to three so we need three strips to go across the one wall however we have two walls that are five feet wide so we will multiply the three and we'll get six strips so we will need six strips or width so if you hear me say strips is the same as widths, basically from here to here. So now we need to figure out how many widths we need to go across a seven foot wall. So we take seven and we divide by 1.71 feet. And again, that is because the width of the wallpaper is 1.71 feet so 7 divided by 1.71 equals 4.10 so 7 divided by 1.71 is 4.10 we'll go ahead and we'll just round down the 4.10 to four. So we need four strips, S-T-R-I-P-S, four strips or widths 
of wallpaper to go across this seven feet wall. However, we have two walls that are seven feet. So we'll take the four and we'll multiply by two and we get eight strips. Therefore, we need six strips for the five feet walls and eight strips for the seven feet wall. So for the entire room, we need six plus eight equal 14 strips. We need 14 strips of wallpaper to go around the entire room. So what about the height? What do we do next? This is what we do next. We take the 14 strips and we multiply that by eight feet because the room is eight feet high. So 14 multiplied by eight equals 112. So we need 112 feet of wallpaper, but wallpaper is sold in rolls. So what do we do next? We take the 112 feet here and we divide by 15 because they are 15 feet of wallpaper in one roll. So 112 divided by 15 equals 7.4 seven rolls. So we will need 7.47 rolls of wallpaper. So we will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven point four seven rolls of this, but we can't buy 0.47 rolls of wallpaper. So we will have to round up and buy eight rolls of wallpaper so it will take eight rolls of wallpaper to cover this room guys if you, if there's anything that you need clarification on please leave a comment ask the question i'll be more than happy to answer them if you learned anything from this lesson please subscribe and share Thanks so much again for your support on the channel and I'll see you in the next video lesson. Don't forget to subscribe now.